Hi, welcome to Schulte Sweetie's YouTube channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a mom of three girls ages 12, 8, and 5. Um, we've completed our sixth year of homeschooling and going to be starting our seventh year of homeschooling pretty soon. And today is a collaboration with Daveen at Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and Shauna at Homegrown Homeschool. And the subject today is um, what I wish I knew before starting school, before starting homeschooling. Um, so just kind of sharing what we've learned along the way. And this is going to be a collaboration with other moms. So I'm going to link the YouTube list playlist down below. Um, so I'm excited for this. Even though I've completed six years of homeschooling, there's still things that I can learn in our homeschooling journey and some tips that I can pick up along the way. So I hope that this is helpful to you and um, that you are able to gather some helpful, encouraging words along the way. So one of the things I would say is what I wish I knew before starting homeschool, which I kind of heard this but you are not going to find the perfect homeschool curriculum um, in your first year, maybe not ever. <laughs> like you might need to make changes, especially in that first year to like be flexible of um, you might not pick out the right thing right away. Um, and I, I think that was hard for me at first. Like I was like, oh, I paid this money. I need to like get the most out of this. And um, sometimes, you know, like with finances, you do need to like try to adjust it and make it work. But sometimes you just need to switch into something different. And letting go of what's not working is like hard at first, I think. Um, and so I think that I wish I had known that like it's okay to make changes and like you don't have to complete a curriculum or something that doesn't work. Um, this is kind of like a, a silly saying, but like to find your tribe. Uh, when I first started homeschooling, I felt so lonely. I knew of a few people that homeschooled, but I didn't know them well. And like, I could ask them questions, but I just didn't feel like I could like go to them to complain or ask what they thought of this situation and things. I didn't have a group of like close common friends that like, we're also homeschooling. And so that was very difficult at first. We joined a co-op and I made it a point at that co-op to, if I connected with someone like in person during the week, then I would connect with them like on Facebook and like get to know them through that. I mean, cause we're busy moms. That's pretty much how we do things, Instagram, Facebook and stuff. You get to know them. And um, that kind of ended up developing into like closer friendships. And then also like, so then after that, for a few years, we moved to a different city, a couple hours away. And so then we had to come up and find our own like homeschool tribe again. Um, and so that was really difficult as well. Um, I joined some like Facebook groups and things trying to get connected and it ended up like I just suddenly connected with someone in a group that like we were going to be meeting far away from both of us <laughs> and we connected and that started, we started our own group. And so, um, I really think it is important to develop connections with other homeschooling moms, um, as soon as you can. And I, it is not easy. I will say that it's not easy, but it is important. Um, it is important to have those friendships that you can like just talk to, can vent to, especially like my husband, I could vent to him, but like he doesn't get it because he doesn't homeschool. He doesn't go through some of these things um, like I am doing. So um, it is really important. And then, you know, connecting your kids to those families as well. Um, another way I have connected, like just by having my own channel and connecting with other homeschooling moms through YouTube, commenting on YouTube. I know that sounds so silly, but like you can develop friendships through like Instagram and Facebook and YouTube of other homeschooling moms and really get seem like you get to know them and like you do have that commonality of homeschooling so i will say shout out to my homeschool youtube mom friends so um i really appreciate you all and like sharing what you do and then just connecting with you all as well um 
then I would say like one of the things is learning is everywhere. And I know like not everybody wants to do like uh, the word unschooling. Um, I have a hard time of not, I have to, I do feel like I want curriculum. I'm a curriculum junkie. So we aren't unschoolers, but there are opportunities like in throughout the year to do some like other schooling. It doesn't have to be all book work. So you can do cooking, um, can do experiments, you can go places, field trips and things. And I think that so many times I especially like will just like, oh, I, we can't do that because we need to do, do this schoolwork. But like that other stuff is just as important, like the cooking, the making memories, the um, going on field trips and learning in different ways. So that other stuff is still just as important as that book work. So make sure that you are um, including those extra things as well. Um, take breaks, be flexible. Um, I know every single year I come up with a calendar of like what days we're going to be off, what days we're going to do school and everything else. But that doesn't, that doesn't ever equate to what life is like. Um, I can have a well laid plan, but life still happens, whether sickness or, um, like our first year homeschooling, we had, I had a newborn baby, so we had already started homeschooling, and then I had a newborn baby. I broke my ankle, my dad got sick, and then we had 11 months with him, and then he passed away. So within the first year and a half, we went through all of that, plus just normal life stuff. Um, so that, it was crazy, and I just had to learn how to be flexible. Like on those days that my dad was feeling well, we would like stop doing school and go be with him and spend those times with him, make those memories with him, and then we would do school when we could. Do I regret any of that? I do not. I do not regret any of that, and I just would really encourage you to be flexible. There are times that you will just need to like go away with your calendar and um, just like don't do what was on your calendar for that day. You need to just adjust and um, change things up. So be flexible. And then the last one kind of goes along with that is be gracious to yourself. Like there might be times that you think that you should be doing a certain thing and it doesn't go plan as planned. Maybe um, you're, you're just worried about like um, the levels your children are on or all sorts of things, but just be gracious to yourself. Like um, homeschooling is hard. It's sometimes lonely. It can be um, difficult, especially if you have children that like aren't listening or things like that. We seriously, we all have days um, like my kids are not listening or I'm frustrated. It's hard when we are with them 24 seven. Like I love my kids, but it is very hard some days. So I would just say, be gracious to yourself. Take breaks for yourself. Like go lock yourself in your room, go take a bath or something. Um, go, you know, to go get groceries on your own if you can. Um, there are different ways that you can just take time for yourself because being with your kids every day can be long and hard. So make sure you're being gracious to yourself and doing some self-care as well. So those are just several of the things that I wish that I knew before I homeschooled. I hope that this is helpful and don't forget to check out the playlist and thank you for um, hosting this. Shauna at Homegrown Homeschool and Devine at Calm in the Chaos. Have a great day.